Welcome back to another little tribe talk, and in this one I wanted to talk a little bit about the biggest mistake that you're making on your whole journey. And this is not to do with nutrition, it's not to do with training, it's not to do with anything like that. The biggest thing that's holding you back on your journey is starting. And it sounds really, really simple, but it's really, really true. Stop waiting for the perfect time to do something. And again, you'll see this spread throughout my whole content because there's never going to be a perfect time. There's never going to be a perfect week. There's, there's never going to be a perfect day or hardly going to be a perfect day because you're always going to have to make a decision somewhere. So what I mean by this is that a lot of people are waiting for, oh, I'm going to do a three month cut for them to go into holiday or I'm going to do this once this busy period of work is out the way or once the baby comes or once I've done this or once work settles down or once I'm on it, whatever it is. But trust me, Take a minute to look back at your life over the last year and find a solid three months where you've done absolutely nothing but go to the gym. It's just not the case because every single person is busy and one person I always look up to is The Rock. The Rock is the busiest human on the planet. He's doing multiple films, he's got loads of brands, he's worth a shit ton of money, he's got a family, he's got loads going on. So if someone like that Minus the steroids, can still stay in shape and can still do stuff religiously and discipline to his routines and his structure. Why can't we all? So, the perfect time is a myth. It's, it's not a thing. And after coaching all 400 people, I've understood that you're going to have to adapt. Simple as that. And this is one of the reasons why these 12 week programs or these genetic plans that you get sent out for £30 off the internet never work. It's because it's never going to be that rigid. It's never going to be a Truman Show. Every day is not going to be exactly the same. But what is going to happen is there's going to be challenges. There's going to be roadblocks. There's going to be things that you have to overcome. And that's on a, a micro scale. Understand how to track food, how to overcome your first meal out, all this sort of stuff. And then on a macro scale, how to manage being ill, how to manage holidays, how to manage events, how to manage injury or missing a session or whatever it is. Loads of things that we have to overcome and our clients have it on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis and there's no slowing down. Sometimes staying in the same position is actually progression. So take one of my clients, Sean for example, just had a baby, hasn't trained in about three weeks but he's managed his weight, he's managed his routines as best as he can. He's obviously just welcomed his first child into the world which is a massive thing but he hasn't just stopped and said, ah, do you know what, I can't do this now for another 18 years until she leaves the house. Like, it's, you're going to have phases throughout your year or throughout your life where you're going to be busy in certain areas and you're not going to be so busy in other areas. But the same thing is that fitness should filter, filter throughout that whole process. And this is one of the things that I say to my clients and I preach on social media is that it's about making fitness, training, nutrition, routine, structure, health, whatever it is, fit into your life and not take over it because I still think that people have like an 80s, 90s approach to, to fitness which is, oh, I, I think of fitness and I think of a, a bodybuilder and a stringer vest eating out of a Tupperware, you know, stepping on stage, like that's such a narrow old mind where there's fitness for the general person, the general population, me and you, people like us, is not like that at all. I'm not gonna tell you how to eat out of Tupperware, Unless, again, is this part of the plan prep? And this is what I'll come to in a second with in individual people. We're not going to tell you to train like a bodybuilder. We're not going to tell you off for not doing something. We're not going to tell you to put tan on, step on stage and do this and do that. Fitness has got to fit into your lifestyle. And as I said, if The Rock's one of the busiest people in the world and you can still do all this, so can we all. But everyone's going to be individual. Someone might move at a kilo a week of dropping body fat. Some might move at 200 grams of losing that per week. Both is progression. Both is progression for that specific person based on that specific circumstance. And that's what you have to get out of your head is that no one's the same. So your progression is going to be different to my progression and every single person who I coach is all different. The processes, the systems, the individuality stays the same, but the actual rate of loss or the journey length or whatever is dependent on you and your circumstances. So if you've got six kids and you've got two jobs, it's going to be completely different than the 20 year old who just came out of uni, he's got no work or nothing like that. It's two different sides of the coin, but they can both still progress in their own way. So that's what I want you to really, really think about. So the one thing that is holding you back from ever getting to where you want to get to is actually starting and just committing to it. And I'm not saying commit for two months, three months. I'm saying commit for 12 months. 
put the work in. And what I mean by committing for 12 months is not, I'm going to go teetotal for 12 months or I'm going to cut out all the things that I love. Is that just do things for the long run because as soon as you put a date on, this is when this is finishing. What happens after that? Do you go back to what you were doing previously? No. Because that's not where you want to be. But a lot, what I was thinking then is a lot of people do do that because they don't know, they can't get out their head that it's more than a three month journey or it's it's not in these blocks. It's a lifelong progression. It's personal progression in your business, in your career, in your relationship. It's something that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. Same with this. This should fit in there for confidence and how you look and how you feel ultimately is a big one. The way that you walk into a room is affected. The way that you hold yourself is affected. You know, how you um, perceive yourself, how confident you are with a t-shirt on, everything like that is just based on confidence. Then you've got the health thing that we have in the spoke about. Obviously, increased health, decreased uh, risk of disease, decreased risk of RFL process, decreased risk of anything in the future. That's the health aspect of it. Then you've got the mindset aspect of it. Going to the gym for mindset and going to the gym to release them endorphins and dopamine and you'll get them feel good hormones, etc. And then on top of that, you've got, you know, eating that good food, which helps with managing anxiety and managing stress and better sleep and all this sort of stuff. That's just like a massive thing that comes with fitness and training and getting your routines dialed in. And that should be a thing that we're striving for throughout the whole of our lives, not just for one month, two months, three months when you've got a gap, because it's never going to happen. So if you want to get progress, start now, not later. It's either day one or one day. You choose, but I know what I'd rather do.